This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Wednesday, February 10th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to extend its correction following that break that we saw the other week above 110.60. I talked about the possibility for a measured move upside extension towards 114.10, and that's what we're seeing play out over the past several sessions. The market is now closing in on that 114.10 measured move objective. Why 114.10? Well, if you look at that previous consolidation that we'd seen for several days between 110.60 and 107.10, that was a 350 point consolidation. So that projected to the upside, 350 points, takes us up to 114.10, which also con coincides with some longer term resistance uh, going back to uh, the previous months in 2015. Sterling dollar. So cable continues to show signs of correction off those recent seven year lows or near seven year lows at 140.80. Despite the latest setbacks, it looks like the market will want to extend this correction and put it in a higher low ahead of the next upside extension within this correction towards the 61.8% Fib retracement off of a key move from that late. 2015 high in December down to the recent January low. At this point, only back above 150 would really take the immediate pressure off the downside, but at the same time, there is risk for this upside to content continue towards that 61.8% Fib retracement, which comes in around 148. Dollar yen. So dollar yen right now, it's all about the monthly chart given the latest breakdown below multi-month lows and the fact that this market could still extend declines over the coming weeks back towards, and as hard as it may sound, that 105.45 level, which was a previous resistance point going back to, to December of 2013 and looking also at January of 2014. Of course, it is possible given the broader uptrend that the market will soon find some form of a higher low ahead of that level, but again, following this latest breakdown and the way that it looks like it's rounding out on the monthly chart, the possibility for deeper decline should not be ruled out in dollar yen. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has seen some sharp pullbacks in recent trade after topping out by fresh multi-month highs at 112. But given the broader uptrend here and the constructive outlook, the market should find some form of a higher low now ahead of the 109 area, ideally in favor of the next upside extension back above 112 and towards the 114 area further up. There is some previous resistance turn support now in the 10940 area, so it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts to that level on Wednesday. Aussie dollar. So with Aussie, the market has mostly been chopping around, but is confined to a broader downtrend. So any rallies within Aussie dollar should be very well capped in favor of an eventual downside extension back below those recent lows that we saw at 68.27, which were which the lowest levels seen since March 2009. At this point, look for any rallies to be well capped ahead of 72.65, which is a key 78.6 Fib retracement, while only back above 73.85 would compromise the bearish outlook for Aussie dollar. Dollar CAD. So although we've seen some sharp setbacks in dollar CAD over the past several days, and although the market has shown maybe some signs of stabilization, don't rule out the possibility for deeper setbacks still towards the 135 area, which coincides with some strong, formidable rising trend line support. Of course, this doesn't do anything to negate the fact that the stronger uptrend remains intact. It's just a question of whether we test that trend line and then look to put in that next ideal higher low ahead of a bullish resumption back towards those near 13 highs, thir near 13 year highs that were seen back on the 20th of January at 146.90. Kiwi dollar. So just like with Aussie, Kiwi continues to sort of chop around, but again, it remain, remains confined to a broader downtrend. As such, any rallies here should also be very well capped up towards the 68 area, with deeper setbacks favored eventually below 63.47 and back down towards the 61s over the coming weeks. At this point, only back above 69 would compromise the bearish outlook for Kiwi dollar. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues with its structural shift after breaking below that August flash crash low, trading all the way down to 1811 thus far. Look for the market to now put in a higher low, a lower top ahead of the next major downside extension below 1811 and towards next key support which comes in around 1700 further down. We could now see a higher a lower top in place at, by 1947 about that high from the 1st of February, but ultimately the market should remain well capped on rallies below 1990 that's a str strong previous support turn resistance and only back above that level will take the immediate pressure off the downside. 
gold. So looking at the weekly chart in gold, it's clear that the market has taken out some critical resistance at 1192. That was the previous October peak. And this further confirms the structural shift going on in gold at the moment, which favors additional upside in the weeks ahead, back towards next critical resistance in the form of that 1307 high that was seen back in January of 2015. At this point, look for any setbacks here to be very well supported, well ahead of 1100, ideally in the 1140 to 1160 area in favor of that next upside extension. Only back below 1100 would compromise the current uh, recovery outlook or the current bullish structure and put the pressure back on those recent multi-year lows from late 2015 at 1046.